Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Put off by how long this video is, don't worry, I tend to jam-pack my videos with as much content, as many details as I possibly can, and I try to talk pretty fast, so while the video is a bit on the long side, I don't repeat myself, and I get into a lot of details about the subject that, you know, pretty much anything that I feel I can comment on and that I think you might find interesting. Medal of Honor Underground, video game thoughts. I quite liked the the, the Valhalla aspect of, of the game where you, you know, because you know, was it Himmler, I think, really was obsessed with Norse mythology. And although the thing of the knights in armor is obviously anachronistic, since that's that's medieval times and Norse mythology is, you know, Vikings which was before that, but yeah, and and he probably wouldn't have posted guards that were in this you know, armor and stuff like that. But it's a pretty decent. I mean, it's it's a nice sort of variety thing, and and with them wearing armor, it's like ah oh, crap! I really have to pummel them with ammo because they they literally are wearing suits of armor, so there's a bunch to shoot through. And they have swords, so they come charging at you and try to hack at you. And, and literally the first time it happens, you're seriously freaked out. You know, that's really a very cool, creepy aspect of the game. Because at first you just see them, and they're just standing there. And you can't see a face, it's just a suit of armor with a sword. And you're like, ah, oh, that's just, you know, decorative. And suddenly you're taking damage. And you're like, what's going on? And, and you turn around, and yeah, it's it's a knight attacking you. That's, that's really cool. I wish they had done more of that in the game, you know. Which, I suppose, brings me to the epilogue. I didn't complete the epilogue. I didn't even complete the first level of it, because it's just ridiculous with the dogs. They're, they're way too fast, they take way too many bullets, and it's just really boring. I, I never liked the game at all, but at that point it was just, you know, it jumped the shark, then nuked the fridge. I, I was just, yeah, unbelievable. But but just the, the basic, I just think it's far too ridiculous to even include in a game that's basically trying to be realistic. You know, I mean, there are various games that have this sort of completely, you know, some something happens where it's completely out of the, you know, out, out of the, it, it's removed from the tone of the rest of it. I think there's like ant levels in Red Alert 1 or something like that. I've only heard of them, I've never played them, which, yeah, I, I can appreciate that, but Red Alert is not a realistic game, you know, it, it plays fast and loose with history. Well, yes, it's an alternate history, but still, it, you know, it, it has a bunch of things that are clearly not, you know, it's, it's a sort of serious game, it's not as goofy, or at least not as intentionally goofy as Red Alert 2 and, you know, some of the other games there, but in that I could still sort of see that kind of thing. I mean, I, yeah, I, I don't know what the explanation for the dogs are, and I don't know what the explanation for the ants are in Alert, but yeah, here it just... I'd say it's especially once they start carrying weapons, you know, that it's not just German Shepherds running at you, which are already enough to make the game nearly, you know, but that they start carrying weapons. That one, you know, with the, where the, with the half track, the one that had a, an RPG, he kept killing himself so so often when I was attempting the level, so that that I didn't even realize that there was one at first. It was only after he killed me that I realized, oh, there actually is. I just heard explosions, and I didn't even realize because I was so used to it by that by then that. Excuse me, just because I hear an enemy doesn't mean I should be able to see the enemy in this game, you know. But anyway, after the half-track, going in through the window and all that, 
I think, yeah, just, just two or three times I did try to lure the dogs over to the window and then I would jump through it, which would, of course, be botched often by just how lousy the jumping is and the fact that you stick to walls and all this stuff, you know. And even when it worked out really well, you know, suddenly I would be faced with an, a dog with a submachine gun and there would be these dogs right in front of me biting me and I'd survive but I'd lose so much health that I basically didn't have a chance for the rest of the level and that's when I said, you know what, this is just, yeah. I don't know, you know, maybe it appeals to people who really like these massive challenges, and peace be with that, but I'm glad that that's at least only the epilogue, you know, the main game you can actually complete, although I do wish that they had toned down the difficulty so that it wouldn't be, you know, uh, I'm just not big on most levels requiring several playthroughs just because you die by something unexpected at some point in the level. I just think that's a really cheap way of making something difficult, you know. Multiple playthroughs to get something right, that's, you know, that's for stuff like Hitman, you know, where it actually, yeah. Anyway, I think that's it for this one. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.